Well, I think a, a year is plenty of time no, to, for good things to happen still. Um, a year in red where obviously we will try to give a, our maximum for, for this team. Could this be the break Daniel Ricciardo has been waiting for? After an important meeting with Red Bull, big opportunities are opening up for the Aussie driver. At the same time, Carlos Sainz's unexpected switch to Williams has amazed the F1 world. Red Bull still hasn't decided who will join Max Verstappen as his teammate next season, although they've confirmed that Sergio Perez will finish out the current season. They're still considering their options for the future. In the coming week, they're conducting tests to evaluate the performances of two of their drivers. To find a potential replacement, Red Bull is inviting Liam Lawson, their reserve driver, and Daniel Ricciardo, who is currently driving for their junior team, to Italy in Imola. They'll both get a chance to showcase their skills and prove they're the right fit for the team. It's a crucial time for these drivers as they compete for a spot in one of the top teams in Formula 1. Red Bull is known for developing young talent and giving opportunities to promising drivers, so this is a big moment for Lawson and Ricardo. They'll be looking to impress the team with their speed, consistency and ability to handle pressure. It's a great opportunity for Lawson, a rising star, to step up and show he is ready for the big leagues. Meanwhile, Ricardo will aim to prove that he still has what it takes to compete at the highest level after a challenging period in his career. This test in Imola could be a turning point for both drivers. It's also about how well they can work together with the team and adapt to different situations. Who do you think will make the cut? and join Verstappen at Red Bull. It's an exciting time for the team and its fans. Will they stick with the experienced Ricardo or take a chance on the promising young talent Lawson? It's a big decision and the team will need to consider their choices carefully during this break. Daniel Ricardo was brought back to the Red Bull family as a potential replacement for Sergio Perez on the main team. However, his performances have been inconsistent and not quite up to expectations. As a result, Perez was given a new two-year contract instead. Alpha Tower usually serves as a junior squad to develop future Red Bull drivers, with Yuki Tsunoda now considered a veteran after several seasons. It seems logical for the team to look forward to promoting younger talent. That's where 22-year-old Liam Lawson comes in. He's seen as a promising driver, and it makes sense for the team to consider giving him a shot for the 2025 season. But there is a chance for Ricardo if he can change the situation. Two test sessions are planned in Imola, Italy. The first session is over and the result is unknown. During these sessions, the two drivers will take part in a filming day where they'll drive the current 2022 spec Alpha Tauri, AT03. Although officially called a filming day under the rules, the session is expected to compare the performance of the two drivers. Both are being considered potential replacements for Sergio Perez at Red Bull Racing. Perez is still the team's preferred choice, but they'll be closely watching how he performs compared to his teammate, three-time world champion Max Verstappen, this weekend. This comparison will be crucial in deciding whether to keep Perez or bring in one of the other drivers. It's a big opportunity for everyone involved to show what they can do and secure a top spot in the team. Red Bull held a mid-season review at their Milton Keynes headquarters. The meeting was attended by key figures like team principal Christian Horner and advisor Helmut Marko. They discussed important decisions regarding the futures of Sergio Perez and Daniel Ricciardo, both of whom have struggled compared to their teammates during the first half of the 2024 F1 season. Even though Perez signed a new two-year contract just last month, there is a clause in which his revised deal that could allow Red Bull to drop him if he falls more than 100 points behind his teammate by the summer break. This review is critical as the team evaluates whether to keep Perez or make a change. It's a crucial time for both drivers as Red Bull is considering all of its options moving forward. At the Belgian GP last weekend, the gap between Perez and Verstappen grew to 146 points. Perez finished a distant 
7th in the race. When talking about Daniel Ricciardo, he is often called the Honey Badger and is known for his fun-loving attitude and fierce racing skills. This Australian driver, known for his friendly smile and laid-back style, is a tough racer on the track. He's always ready to push his car to the edge and make bold overtakes. Ricardo is known for his speed and racing skills. He's shown he can consistently finish near the top when he has the right car. During his time with Red Bull, he was a regular on the podium. His unique celebration, the Shoei, where he drinks champagne from a racing boot, became a symbol of his fun personality and made him a fan favorite. It might look silly, but it shows why fans love him. In 2019, Ricardo moved to Renault's main team, facing new challenges, but he didn't achieve his dream of becoming a world champion, like past Australian legends Jack Brabham and Alan Jones. In 2021, he joined McLaren, hoping for better results, but still could not reach the top. By the start of 2023, Ricardo wasn't on the grid, but he didn't stay away for too long. He made a comeback with Red Bull as a third driver and quickly impressed. This led to a seat with Alpha Tauri, a team associated with Red Bull, from the middle of the season. Unfortunately, his return was cut short due to a broken hand from a practice crash, which kept him out of five races. He'll race for Williams in 2025 and 2026, providing the team with stability during a significant transition in F1. This period will bring new aerodynamic designs and power unit regulations, including the use of 100% sustainable fuel. It's an exciting time for both the sport and Williams as they prepare for these changes. Choosing Williams for 2025 was a fascinating move. The team has been working hard to rebuild after some challenging seasons. Despite its rich history with numerous championships and race wins, Williams has recently struggled at the back of the grid, competing with the top teams. Carlos also mentioned that the driver market this year was challenging, which led him to take some time to decide. He expressed confidence that Williams is the best place for him to continue his F1 career. Carlos Sainz has had a strong 2024 season with Ferrari, including a win at the Australian GP earlier this year. As the summer break begins, he's in fifth place in the driver's standings at 162 points, just 15 points behind his teammate Charles Leclerc. On the other hand, Williams has struggled to score points during a top-heavy season. These factors were taken into consideration and Williams made a deal with Sainz. On the other hand, the Williams F1 team is also seeking stability from its drivers and is looking for a long-term commitment. The F1 season just got even more thrilling. What's next for Daniel Ricciardo and Carlos Sainz after these dramatic shifts? Do share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more F1-related content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.